President Obama is trying to distance himself from comments that he made in the past about how skyrocketing gas prices could be a good thing. And yesterday, our own Ed Henry, well, he asked him about it. Watch this. Your critics will say on Capitol Hill that you want gas prices to go higher because you have said before that will wean the American people off fossil fuels onto renewable fuels. How do you respond to that? Ed, just from a political perspective, do you think the President of the United States going into re-election wants gas prices to go up higher? Is, is, that, is, 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 that, is there anybody here who thinks that, that makes a lot of sense? Actually, Mr. President, based on what you've said in the past, yeah, it actually does make a lot of sense. Joining me now is with the co-host of The Five. She deals with Beckel five days a week, Andrea Tanteros from the Fox <laughs> Business Network. That's a badge of honors. Uh, Sandra Smith is back with us. He did. I had the day off today, by the way. Uh, he, Beckel he, wasn't there today. He, are you, I'm looking so calm. The, uh, calm, relaxed. Um, President Obama did say that he'd prefer that gas prices go up, but more gradually. This is when he was criticizing George Bush when gas prices went up then, and he has an energy secretary that said he wants gas prices as high as Europe. So he did say these things in the past. And he also said that if he got his way with cap and trade, energy prices would skyrocket. So he's just, you know, look, he wants your housing prices to go up because he wants your solar, you buy solar panels, he wants the cost of cars to go up, he wants you to buy a Volt. He wants things to go up. And when he says that he doesn't want it to go up because it hurts American families, what about all his other policies? What about raising taxes? What about all the other things he's doing that hurt American families? When you go after oil companies, they eventually pass that cost down to the consumer. Oh, oh, and a lot of folks have their retirement funds uh, in these, invested in a lot of these oil companies. So he is hurting the... Well, what's done that kills me is the no quick fix comment. I mean, we're still looking at a president who's saying there's no quick fix to higher gas and oil prices today, and possibly that's because he wants them to be higher. But, Sean, the voters are going to be the true judge of this, and that is gas prices are double what they were before as this president took office, and there's been no energy policy to create a better environment but he's for also consumers. Saying the, the, the two, we, we, we think it... 2%, but we produce 2%, but we use 20. Is that a bad thing? That we use energy because we're advancing no, we're, you know, the human condition and, and making better lives for people, not just here, but around the world? No, our country is built. We use fossil fuels. We happen to like oil. And the president has not accommodated this fact. In fact, the administration has made it very clear that they want to urge Saudi Arabia to produce more oil so that, that we can, so that we can subsidize customer. being more dependent on uh, Middle East oil. But he's openly hostile to fossil fuel, I mean, openly hostile, and there's no other competitive source on the market. Just look at Europe, Germany, all these other countries tried green energy, they tried the exact same thing that he's pushing, and now they're all backing off because all they're of saying them. we cannot afford it, it's not working, there's no market. You know, and, and they're bragging that we're producing more oil than we used to, but that's all on private land, it has nothing to do with the administration opening up public land. Uh, but I do, my favorite quote of all time comes from President Obama, he does have advice on how, well, we can get every mile possible out of a gallon of gas. Here's his advice. You can inflate your tires to the proper levels, and that if everybody in America inflated their tires to the proper level, we would actually probably save more oil than all the oil that we get from John McCain drilling right below his feet there, wherever it is that he was going to, wherever he was going to drill. Inflate your tires. Then he goes on to talk about and get regular tune-ups. <laughs> That's Can what he we said. use the hot air coming out of the White House to inflate all these tires? <laughs> I think we actually could. We, was, we were joking earlier. It's inflate your tires, and uh, it's going to be algae's going to answer all of That's the problems. That's and right. and yeah. Fun and, yeah. I would have, listen, the algae thing ought to be mocked by everybody. I mean, remember when President Reagan said that trees cause pollution, and he was eviscerated for that? Can you imagine if a Republican president yeah. talked about pond scum and algae? And ketchup and, is a vegetable. Our government told us so. Uh, Oh, right, and potatoes are bad. Yeah. Leaf. I just, I, you know, and we're we're laughing about it, but Sean, I just think that this is going to be the key focus of the election because this is one thing that consumers every day in America have to deal with: higher gas prices. And you're looking at a president who's talking about quick fixes and didn't do what it took years ago to really evoke change. Yeah, Andrew's right; he didn't even answer at Henry's question. He didn't answer uh, the question. No, of course it's not. exactly right. No, it, it doesn't. It's exactly it. Doesn't have an answer, guys. Good to see you both. Yeah. And coming up is it a
appropriate for the president to lecture an American hero and former POW on the consequences of war? We'll check in with Senator John McCain. He reacts to the president's, well, condescending comments from yesterday's press conference. That and much more coming up next right here tonight on Hannity.